Hey guys, Braxton here. So, here's a quick update on my health. Uh, so I know that I gave you guys an update, um, a couple months ago about how I went into the hospital and everything, um, w with my mono and how it attacked my liver and my spleen. Well, apparently I've relapsed and they're not sure if it's mono, because, like, I've gotten blood tests done and the only thing that's elevated is my ALT, which is just one of the counts for your liver and everything else is normal um, but my liver, my spleen, and my kidneys are all acting up and I'm in a shit ton of pain all the time um, they have me on oxycodone to help with the pain um, but yeah so that's, that's going on right now and so I ask you guys whatever you guys do if you guys like pray or if you believe in good karma or good like judo then like mojo whatever you guys like everything positive just positive thoughts like you could send them my way so the doctors can figure out what's going on with me um because like as of right now I have no idea what's going on and I just I'm really nervous that it's like that they're not going to be able to find anything and at the same time that it's like something really serious so you guys could send positive thoughts my way um, that would be awesome oh and just in case you're wondering I doubt you are but um reason why I have long crazy hair right now is one I don't really ever leave my bedroom let alone my house so I don't really care to do my hair but, I don't know if you guys remember, but you can take a look back. I used to have, like, long Justin Bieber shag, like, down to my eyebrows, golden hair, um, but pretty much the whole time I've cut my hair and kept it short. Like, my most recent videos, like, I've had short hair, especially the one that I did in my condo back in, uh, California. It was super short for graduation and everything. Well, I'm just like, yeah, this is probably going to be my last haircut because I want to see how long it gets, especially with being in Mexico. No, I'm not going to cut it while I'm in Mexico. I just want to see how long it can get. And my hairdresser is like, yeah, right. I've like, known you to say, oh, yeah, I'd probably grow it out a little bit. And then you come back and it's like, I can't do this. I have to chop it off. Um, so we made a bet that I, um, she says I can't. I say I can. Um go go a year without cutting my hair so I got a cut on June 4th 2014 I can't get a cut until June 4th 2015 um, and the rules are is that I have to have my blonde still in still like someone visible of course like it's probably not gonna be that visible but it still has to be there um, and I have to be able to put my hair in a ponytail like, I cannot cut it in any way, like, I can't. Like, I asked my girlfriend, I'm like, would it be, like, you count as cutting it if I were to square out my, my sideburns? And she's like, yeah, it's not happening. I'm like, I hate this. Like, I actually, like, want real sideburns, not this girly bullshit. But anyways, um, so yeah, that's happening. I'm growing out my hair, and yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for listening. If you could, please, positive thoughts, positive mojo, like prayers, you know, whatever. Um, the, the doctors can figure out why I'm so sick. But thank you guys. Peace.